Okay, Susie was counting on her fingers, but she was being a little uh, obnoxious about it, uh, uh, telling me it's time to, to film. Okay, this question was from Christine Vanden Bout. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, her, her question was, aside from the loss of genetic variation among the species that survive, how, if at all, might this affect the genetics future offspring? Might this have caused mutations related to color size hardiness? Or perhaps the offspring will be more favorable toward a larger range of temperatures for a short period of time? Or is it all wait and see? Well, obviously it's wait and see. Uh, but uh, as a geneticist, uh, geneticist, I can tell you that this was a uh, bottleneck uh, event. Uh, the, those fish that had uh, genes that did not make them some, uh, at least somewhat tolerant of cold uh, died. Uh, their genes aren't, are being, those genes are being removed from the population. Those fish who had genes for cold hardiness or cold resistance uh, survived better and uh, are now more frequent in the gene pool. So I expect that we'll have uh, a downward, uh, uh, how to say this, uh, that fish will be more cold hardy, that their descendants will be more cold hardy. Don't think it'll have any impact on color size, but it will on hardiness, uh, unless there's a gene. You know, it's, it's interesting, uh, humans and, and fish all, all have a, somewhere between 30 and 40,000 genes. What those genes uh, do, they code for a protein uh, that ends up being made into enzymes or, or into, into body structures. Uh, and sometimes a gene that we select for one purpose, like color, might have an impact on cold hardiness. Uh, so uh, there could be some impact on color and size. Uh, so far as the impacts of the cold on our fish, we found that males survived poorly compared to females. Adult females took big hits. Medium-sized fish did well, small fish died. And that's within one line. So if we looked at, say, our uh, sky blue OB peacocks, uh, we lost all of our breeder males. We lost, uh, I think it was about half the females. Uh, about 60% of the uh, medium-sized fish that we had for either for sale or for uh, growing up as potential breeders survived, almost all the fry died. You know, fry and, and fish smaller than an inch died. Uh, so that I don't think is genetic, that's just uh, physiological, except for in the case of the males. The males only had one X chromosome, maybe there's some dosage effect of genes on the X chromosome that make females more resistant to cold than males. Uh, so, I guess the uh, short answer is we have to wait to see, but I, I suspect that we will have fish that are more cold tolerant uh, than, the, than the average fish in the population prior to the storm. Uh, we'll see what it does. Uh, as so far as might it ca have caused mutations, uh, cold doesn't really cause mutations, but it can select for mutations that are already in the population. Uh, now, if we'd had a radioactive storm, we would see a lot more mutations. Uh, that reminds me, in, in high school, I did a science fair project on uh, mutations in guppies and actually took uh, guppies down to the local hospital and had them x-rayed to increase the mutation rate. Uh, I didn't find any difference, by the way. I'm sure there was, but the project wasn't long enough to really determine that. Uh, although, uh, I think it was Dr. Muller at University of Texas uh, uh, earlier than what I did uh, showed that uh, 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 muta that x-rays caused mutations that led to increased cancer rates. Okay, I hope I answered your question. Christine, if you have a follow-up, uh, please let me know. You can email me at charles at goliadfarms.com. It's probably the easiest way to get to me. Uh, good fish keeping.